Hello, Loita. It is time to Temple 2 here, and we are back for my favorite number, episode 9 of Running Away. Now, normally I would start by telling you what we're going to be building today, but we have a problem. And that problem is we have too many cows. Now, I don't know if you can actually see it if I just run around now, but uh, there is so much lag with these cows. And so when people like fly into the world, um, when they're over the cow pen, there's just a ton of lag. And so as successful as our breeding program was, and as much as I love all these cows, uh, sorry, PETA. What the hell? Gnarly? What are you doing? Hey, six feet! Six feet! Six feet! Six feet! Hey, I was just hanging out with the cows. What are you doing here, Gnarly? Just, just six, feet, the cows. six feet! Six feet! Six feet! Six feet! We are under six quarantine, feet. Gnarly. Why? Why are you? Are you eating the cows now, Gnarly? Why are you pretending to be a cow? Uh. Hold up! I need to. I need to assert dominance. Why? Hey. Damn, you suck at that. Gnarly, why are you pretending to be a cow? To be honest, I love these cows. You love these cows? Don't kill Gnarly, them. you Please know don't number kill them. nine is my favorite episode. So why did you come to ruin it? Never mind, that- I just answered my own question there. Yeah, this continued for a good ten minutes, so uh... Let's skip to a more productive moment. Coming on strong, I was scared. Gnarly, I'm just- six feet, six feet- Gnarly, I'm gonna need you to head- I'm gonna need you to head... To the jar bar and grill. I'm gonna need you to head that way. Keep, keep walking, keep walking. Keep going, keep going, I didn't say stop. Keep going, right to the shulker boxes, right to the shulker boxes. Gnarly, as you know, Tadshire has a beautiful history of public works. As you can see, we have nothing but them. And, uh, you seem like a nerd to me, who would like books. Alright, well, well, Gnarly, we need a library. Really? Yeah. Are you in? Uh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. All right. Let's do this. Here, pull out your bow. Pull out your bow. Let's shake on it. Beautiful. But in all seriousness, yesterday, Gnarly had come onto my creative world and said he wanted to build something. And he came up with this little library design that I thought was just absolutely magnificent. Obviously, we haven't done the back yet. But, uh, we tend to figure that out in survival anyway. So... Yeah, let's put this into survival. So today, rather than doing the normal time lapses that I've been doing as of late, I thought I would take a page out of Mumbo's book, and I want to rant for a second. And I want to rant about something that is partially responsible for the video that you are seeing right now. And that is procrastination. Because, aside from this clip that I'm recording right now, the video is done. Like, I finished editing the video, and it's all ready. And that is because today... I had one thing I needed to get done, and that is my organic chemistry homework assignment. And actually, as you're seeing this, because this is going up Wednesday, it will have been due last night. I'm not done with it. Uh, I'm, I'm editing this on Sunday, and it's going to be going up on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not done with that. It's about 80 questions of organic chemistry, and it sucks. And yet today, when I woke up, I had every intention of doing something, because I, f I have something that I call productive procrastination because rather than doing the one thing that i need to get done i did everything else like i woke up i got ready i cleaned up my room a little bit and then i have a little dry erase calendar and i erase that i cleaned it i put in all the dates and on the side i have a little note section where i put everything that i have to do for this week because much like you guys i am in online classes right now and and <laughs> Instead of actually doing the organic chemistry stuff, I decided I was going to get everything else done. And not everything else, but like, I have five classes, right? And, and I spend roughly six hours a day on each of them. I finished two of my classes for the entire week over the course of like four hours. What? Like, I, I wanted to do orgo so little that I just got two classes, boom, out of the way. And then on top of that, I edited this video as well as the video you saw Monday. Like, that's record speed. I cannot normally do that. But for some reason, when I have other things to do, I'm just so productive. I, I don't get I, I don't know. Do you guys get that? Because it seems every time I have something I actually need to get done, I end up being productive as all get out on something that does not need to be done right then and there. So, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to come in here and rant for a second. Um, I hope you liked this, but let's get back to the video. This. Alright. 
So, I just went and ate dinner, and while I was gone, Gnarly was working on this. I have not seen the finished product. Gnarly, do you have anything you want to hype me up with? Um, if you'll, if it's, a, I, I don't know what to say. I really like it. <laughs> Gnarly, do you have anything you want to hype me up with? If so, uh, um, you have, uh, we, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gnarly, are we ready to move that bus? Ooh. Oh, the Good, inside's it. done! Oh, this is... Oh, this is sick! Gnarly, you have outdone yourself. Got your little checkout book. Yeah! <laughs> Check out the books. Gnarly, this is amazing! Wow! Now, I do think, see, Gnarly had wanted to use lanterns, and I told him we had some, but I forgot to get them. I do think lanterns would help with this. But this is nice. Gnarly, let's... You like what I did with the roof? Hold on. Let me, let me... Let's make it official. Did I spell that right? Yeah, I did. That is, this is so beautiful. Look up. You have out the... It's the sky. <laughs> no, you mean inside? Yeah, no, I saw the glass. I thought that was great. It's a great addition. See, because I was futzing around with, like, the roofing up there so much. This is awesome, Gnarly. You did a great job on this. Ugh, books, though. Yeah, this is nice. See, because I was thinking before, uh, when we first made the outline, it didn't come back as far, and I thought we were going to have to throw a tree in there. But I don't think a tree would even fit. We could put one here, I guess. Yeah, a tree could definitely fit. Never mind. Here, let's see how it looks from the tower. Oh, that's just magnificent. I'd say it takes up a bit more space than... Like, it doesn't... Does it 100% fit with the other builds? No. But, like, I, I like where it is. Yeah, this is clean. Now, do we want to put gates on this so that mobs no. don't get it? Nah, yeah, yeah. It's a public library. Okay, so now we have, like, two more buildings that can even go in here. Because I was going to put the cafe in here, but we already built the cafe. And it was here that I realized I'm an idiot <laughs> because I had talked about the cafe, and for some reason I thought that I had shown it to you guys. And for whatever reason, I never actually did. So let's show that to you. So this is the cafe that I had referenced before. Initially, I had thought about putting it over there because, I don't know, I just thought it would be neat to overlook this pond. But right here just fit perfectly as well. And so this is the design. And I'm not even going to say that we came up with. This was totally, totally Salbert's design. Salbert had gone into the creative world. The same one when we were building the library over there. Uh, right next to it, she built this little cafe. And she didn't tell any of us about what she was doing. And I went over and checked it out. And she said she was planning on making it. And uh, Salbert, you know, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I didn't give you the opportunity. But basically after I made the cemetery last night, I got bored and I was watching that new Netflix show, The Tiger King. I was watching that and I got carried away after I made the cemetery over there and after I had edited some stuff. And so I went into the creative world, took pictures, and I brought the Cafe de Salbert to life. So this is how it looks on the inside. And I love it. It's, it's just adorable. Again, the uh, decoration, aside from like these little things right here, all of this was Salbert's design. And I could not be happier with it. It has this little reception area over here that I'll probably put a... Or maybe she will put a sign in um, just to sort of be like the little computer where they monitor people. And then we have all these little seats all around where people can sit and enjoy their coffee. And it's beautiful. I, I'm so happy with how this came out. So once again, Salbert, if you are watching, thank you, thank you, thank you for this design. I'm so happy with how it looked. And I think the front as well just complements it so beautifully. Because it's just, it's, it's adorable. I love how it looks. You will also notice that going behind it, there is a little pathway that goes back here. And I have no idea how I forgot to show you this one. Because when I brought Gnarly and his dad over to, uh, come tour this area, we came in boats. Like, we, we literally took boats and went straight through this building. And it slipped my mind to show it to you guys. So, what this is, is, it's exactly what it looks like. It's a little dock. And then in here, I have, um, I, I meant for it to be like a little fish market. So back here, you know, they'll have chests for people to sell. Um, 
And then also, you know, if you're coming in and you just want to just want to rest for a little bit, we'll have that there. We may as well just put a bed in here as well, just so that, you know, if, if you really want to rest, you can you can take a load off. But yeah, th this was basically just meant to be a dock. And this was one that I really had been wanting to put in because there had been multiple times that people had been swimming through here or they'd come in on boats or something and they had nowhere to go because we have all these rose bushes everywhere because I love the rose bushes. They do their job perfectly. There used to be drowns that would come in from the ocean and just walk up on land constantly and attack us. And it was annoying. Even when I lit up the area, they just kept coming. So the rose bushes... I'm so happy with how they turned out, but we needed a dock, and I'm very happy with how this turned out. And finally, to finish off the episode with my favorite number, I figured what better place to end it other than the first place that we started. So, we haven't been back here in a few episodes, I don't think, and so I wanted to show off a couple of changes that I'd made. First and foremost, I think it's obvious, I finally added the trim to my house. It is something that is so minor, and yet I feel like makes all the difference. Now, I'm going to leave the stone in place just because, I mean, everywhere else pretty much has cobblestone stairs for the roof, so I think the stone's still a bit unique, so I'll keep it unique this way, but I'm so happy with it. I mean, I, I think when I had switched out the oak wood for the dark oak, I had mentioned this, but, like, it's such a small change that makes just a world of difference, and I love it. And biggest of all is, on the inside, I actually furnish the place. Now, I said, I think it was last episode, that I'm going to go around and furnish all of the buildings in here. And I am going to do that. And I wanted to start with my actual house and sort of build up my interior design shops because I suck at it. I mean, I really suck at it. This right here took me about an hour to put together, as measly as it may seem. All I did was I just grabbed a bunch of random things. I had some leaves, I had a bunch of cobblestone, and a ton of dark oak just lying around. And I kind of just threw this together. So over here we have our little sink with our beautiful little stove top right there. Uh, we have the bushes that I think is a stupid idea to put them right next to the uh, to the stove. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, we have the stone cutter in the kitchen. Not sure why. Uh, we have our own little table here. Uh, seats too, even though we'll only ever have one. Uh, over here we just have a table with a beautiful flower pot and then my room with a little nightstand and to be fair this ender chest right here I did not bring back from my original area gnarly actually brought this back and he gave it to me so I technically did not bring this back um, and then down here and oh before we go downstairs I also put this little guardrail in because I don't know I never jumped at it this way or at least I shouldn't be jumping at it this way so now this kind of forces me to take this little route and I think it's beautiful. The basement is pretty much the exact same as it's always been. I have my two little sheep here that I didn't name. I'm surprised I didn't name them. I gotta come up with names for them. Alright, I'm shameless. We're calling them like and subscribe. Um, anyway, I have these little chests in here. They, they have the same stuff that they've had this whole time. These ones have dirt, some food. You guys probably don't care about that. And the last thing that I added was actually these furnaces. Because this looks pretty similar to how I have it in my original house, and I don't know, it gave me a little bit of nostalgia. So yeah, this is how the house is looking, and this is probably the best interior designing I have ever done. So please be forgiving with me on it, because I've never done something like this before, and I'm, I'm still learning, so yeah. So that is going to do it for my favorite number, episode 9 of Running Away. Now, I've, I've just been having so much fun doing these. And interior design for this house was something that that was honestly probably the hardest thing that I've done thus far. Just because I have almost no experience at it. And yet, I'm, I'm learning more every day. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you liked the video, I would absolutely love it if you left a like. And I mean, again, nine episodes in, if you're still not subscribed, please, I, I would absolutely love it. Um, and I always hate asking for people to turn on the bell but for real I've been getting a ton of people saying that they're not getting notifications on the videos that I'm posting so if you want to see that and you like what I see I would absolutely love it if you turn that bell on but yeah but that being said thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time choose kinder <laughs>